All righty then. Hey there, I'm Kevin E. West, and thanks for considering coming along the journey with me for the Actor OS program. Uh, we're going to call this the prologue because I want to take a few minutes and have you get to know me a little bit um, as you get into the thoughts and the other videos we have to show you before you actually decide whether or not you'd like to do the program. Now, it's important to know, I understand, you may be brand new to this business. You may be a teenager. You may be a parent who's watching this for your child actor, potentially. Um, you could also be somebody who's been in class for a couple of three years. Maybe you're watching this from England or Australia. It is a global business now. So, and it also may be, hey, listen, that you're a longtime frustrated veteran who lives right here in Hollywood where I live. So no matter what and wherever you are and whatever your status in this business or time in this business, the Actor OS program is going to help without question. Um, but a little bit about me, uh, I grew up in rural Tennessee, if you don't already know that from say going to IMDB or not, um, a rural kid who came from nothing. I uh, just wanted to be a professional athlete like a lot of people do. Um, and when I was, uh, let's see my, what was it, my second or third, yeah, third year college, trying to be a professional golfer, I found myself sitting one day, picture this, in a dumpy little movie theater in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And then smash cut, fast forward, as we'd say in a script, I woke up one day and I'd done 50 plus guest stars in television. I'd written three books, uh, built an award-winning organization. I've spoken all over the world. Uh, and that organization also won awards for the actors that were a part of it along the way. I've done improv, stand-up, been a game show participant. Woo! I've done ADR, looping, voiceover, student films, studio feature films, what we call short, ultra-low budget, modified low budget. I recurred on daytime television. I've done sitcoms. Other than be a celebrity to the world, I've pretty much done everything, but most of my career has been in what we call our episodic drama. That's what you would see about my career. Um, and understand that I also worked in both the late 20th century and also now in the 21st century. I've seen both those movies, as we'd say. And the acting profession, when you do it for money, is a challenge. The understanding of why it is, is because it's so subjective. It is this amazing, goofy collection of intangibles that make it very personal and very difficult to us. The Actor OS program is going to help sort of smooth out that crazy paradox that we have between the individual performer's desire to just perform and be an artist and the massive machinery that is the global multi-billion dollar entertainment industry, because that is quite the paradox. But I also want you guys to know that, hey, when I first went to Atlanta way back in the day, I didn't have any contacts. I didn't have any family in the business. I didn't have any connections. I hadn't had any training. What I did have is a lot of what you're going to want to get out of this program with a lot of specifics, and that is focus, strategy, and commitment. Now, I use a lot of analogies and a lot of metaphors, and I use a lot of lines from movies. So here comes the first one from the movie Untouchables by Sean Connery, which said, what are you prepared to do? And that's going to be a lot of what comes along with this program. Because when I decided to do this, when I decided to leave being a professional athlete, potentially, I didn't think about it for a long time. And I didn't just sit around and talk about it. I put together a game plan and I turned it into a career. That doesn't mean that it wasn't difficult. It's been very difficult. It doesn't mean that I didn't make mistakes. I did. What it means is that you're now the beneficiary of all that. Because it wasn't something I just thought about doing for a couple of years and decided to put together a program. And as people know that have heard me speak, when I get to talking, it's hard to shut me up. So I'm going to try and keep this as concise as I can for you. But I just am a very serious, complete goofball. I've been called Intense Sunshine. I've been called a Hollywood redneck. But what I'm known for in Los Angeles is a professional who shows up and gets the job done. That's what I do. Because this business goes way beyond the art, goes way beyond the craft. And I'm going to provide a lot of insight in the Actor OS that are concepts, ideas, even simple words, uh, action plans that you've never even heard of. And along with that is probably going to come some tough love. I mean, that's just the way it is. But I'm always going to be honest with you. 
and I want you to know that I'm on your side. I want you to achieve your dreams, but I don't have a dog in the fight of your career. That's going to be up to you. So understand that part of where that came from is that after I'd been here for four years, I woke up out of a dream, wrote down some notes, had a couple of meetings in my house. And what concurrently happened along with me building a career is I accidentally started the Actors Network, which became this incredibly successful, award-winning business organization never seen before in the history of Hollywood and not seen since, that over the course of nearly 24 years, 5,000 actors came through the door. That's me consulting, speaking with people, building careers from all over the world, Asia, Germany, Paris, and every place in the United States that you can possibly imagine, from literally Alaska to Hawaii to Maine, no joke. But along that way, this was something that allowed me to engage with my fellow performer and see what they were going through. And these are some people that you would even know of. Uh, some of our former members include Masioka from Heroes and Hawaii Five O, Maggie Grace from the Taken Trilogy, Chelsea Crisp from Fresh Off the Boat, Christopher Gorham from Covert Affairs and Ugly Betty, and dozens and dozens and even hundreds more who are working actors to this day. Even Elaine Lowe, who today is now a writer for Dynasty, Dorian Frankel, who is casting director for Parks and Rec. We had all sorts of amazing terrific people who came through that organization. So. Understand that knowledge is power, absolutely, but part of what the Actor OS program is about is having a well, strategic, executable game plan. It's putting together a blueprint for your dreams and knowing that we all have an artistic fuel tank and that it has to be protected because without it, you can't succeed. That's also what the Actor OS is going to help you do. Protect that artistic fuel tank from right up here. So when I talk about that and I finish up here, it leads me to think about us being a collective, because again, I think about the Actors Network. And so I want to leave you with a quote, one of my favorite quotes in life. And it's applicable when you really think about it. And it's by Margaret Mead. And it says, never doubt that a group of thoughtful, committed citizens can indeed change the world. In fact, it's the only thing that ever has. I look forward to seeing you in the program. And cut.